Aloha my friends, Christina here, and I am so happy to be back in a new video with you today. One of the most frequently asked questions that I get is, which is the easiest juicer to clean? And is the Nama J2 juicer really as easy to clean as people say that it is? I'm gonna be breaking those questions down for you today, and I'm gonna be giving you some juicer cleaning tips for whichever juicer that you have to help save you time. I know so many people who really want to get into juicing or who want to incorporate juicing into their daily routines, but they're so off put by having to clean their juicer that they just don't juice at all. And we never want that to be the case. So not only am I going to break down the pieces of this juicer for you today and make a juice with you, but I'm also gonna show you how I clean my juicer, offer tips, and I'm going to time myself so that you can see exactly how long it takes me to clean this juicer. We're gonna have fun today and this is gonna be an educational video and hopefully this video will be helpful to those of you who are looking to get a new juicer or who wanna make a wise investment of not just getting a juicer and in your health, but also your time, an investment to save you time. So the juicer that I have here today is the Nama J2 juicer. And for those of you who know me know that I'm obsessed with my Nama J2 juicer. I have had pretty much every single juicer out there in my kitchen. I have broken every single juicer out there in my kitchen. For those of you who don't know me, I've been a raw vegan for almost 18 years coming up this July. Holy moly, I've been juicing a really, really long time. <laughs> And when I say that I have used every juicer in the game, whether it's a horizontal, a centrifugal, a slow cold press juicer like the Nama here, I've used every juicer. And I've even done some juicer comparisons of the Nama with horizontal juicers, with centrifugal juicers, and the Nama has come out on top every time when it comes to yield, quality, pulp, and more. I'll go ahead and link those comparison videos below for you so that you can watch them and get a better idea of the differences between juicers. And one of the reasons why I absolutely love the new J2 is because of the revolutionary technology that this juicer has. I love that it has a wide open lid and you can throw in whole ingredients at a time. You don't have to chop things as small. You can throw in a whole apple, a whole orange, a whole cucumber. You can throw in whole ingredients, walk away, and when you come back, your juice is made for you. Now, that is the intention of this juicer. It is meant to save you time and prep, and it is also intended to help you batch juice, which for people like me is very useful because I don't just like to make one jar of juice at a time. I like to make five, seven, sometimes 12 jars of juice because I'll be doing a juice cleanse or I wanna have one to three jars to drink in my refrigerator every day all the time. So for me, this juicer is a good fit. I talk a lot about juicing and juicers in all of my YouTube videos, and I also share tons of juicing recipes here for you on my channel. If you haven't already, please check them out. If you're looking to get a new juicer, I highly recommend the J2, and I'm hoping that today's video will show you exactly why. Nama has been so gracious to give all of you, everybody watching, $55 off this juicer, the J2, by simply using the code FULLYRAW55 at checkout. And I've included that link on the screen for you and also in the link below. Please tap on that link, use the code, and enjoy and get juicing. My intention is to show you what this juicer can do and how easy it is to not only make a juice, but also to clean your juicer. Cleaning your juicer should not be a daunting task. Let's go ahead and jump into this video. So before we make our juice, let's go ahead and take this juicer apart. Let's go through it piece by piece. Let me show you all of the parts because if you're gonna clean a juicer, you wanna know exactly which parts to clean and how difficult or easy this is gonna be. And I feel like when people are showing you a juicer, it's really important to see all the parts because it helps you to make an educated decision as you know, as to whether or not you want to invest in getting this juicer and if it looks appealing or not for you to wanna to have in your kitchen uh, or to clean. So first things first, you have your motor or your base and then you have your pulp container and you have your juice container. These two items you'll have to clean, but those are really no big deal. Cool thing about the J2 juicer is that you can literally separate the entire juicing head, the hopper, the auger, all of this from the base so that you can take it to the sink and wash it. This is so beneficial because 
It means that you can simply wipe down the base with a towel, a rag, anything easy, and you don't have to get this base wet. You can just leave it on your countertop where it is. I love that because I've had previous horizontal juicers where you had to figure out how to wash <laughs> the machine and not get the motor wet and wipe it with the towel and like the craziest of places. I love that I can just lift this off and wash this separately. So with the Nama, it's always important to assemble this before you put it on the base. Otherwise, you're gonna always have a little bit of a struggle getting it to fit in here. And it's intended for you to assemble off of the base. So when you have this piece, all you have to do is twist off the top and lift up the hopper. This is the loading hopper and it comes with a lid. It also has um, a plunger, so to speak, but I don't have that here. This is what the hopper looks like. It has a blade in the middle. This piece for me is fairly easy to clean. It's just a quick rinse and maybe with a sponge, a quick little scrub. This doesn't get sticky or anything like that. Then you have this piece. And I should also mention that the Nama J2 comes with its own cleaning brush that makes this very easy. So when you pull out the auger, it has a brush that can help you get into all of the crevices here. Now this for the most part is a quick rinse, but you might have to use the brush to get into that bottom piece in there. And of course you've got, okay, you've got this big, you've, you've got the container piece right here. I'll get into that in just a second. You've got, the sieve and the holding piece. I don't know the exact technical terms for this, but the only difficult part about cleaning this piece are these little ridges at the bottom, but if you just use the brush on it, it's fairly easy. And you've got the sieve or the strainer. This is the most difficult piece in any juicer to clean. And I actually find that this is probably one of the easiest strainers to clean. And I simply use the brush, put soap and water all over it, as I'm gonna show you, and you just scrub. It takes me a minute, maybe. This is the strainer, and then you have the bottom piece right here. What I love about this piece is that in most juicers, you have like a pulp buildup that gets pretty clogged. In this one, you can actually open this bottom piece and you can literally just take out that pulp right there, anything that gets clogged, and put it right back in. And the newer version of this juicer has a stopper piece that prevents as much pulp from going through, at least it keeps it from getting stuck, which is nice, that rubber piece right there. So you've got here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight pieces to clean with the Nama J2 juicer. I typically do a hard rinse with all of the pieces except for these three right here. Now, this requires a brush, a light brushing. This one requires some picking, some light brushing, and this one requires a good scrub with the brush. But for the rest of the pieces, it's really just a hard rinse. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna assemble this juicer real quick. And I'm gonna go ahead and make a really messy green juice right now. We're gonna just make this as messy as I possibly can, right? And then I'm gonna show you how easy it is to clean this juicer and I'm gonna time it for you. So let's go ahead and make a messy juice. Let's get this juicer as messy as we possibly can. What I'm trying to say is that I'm going to properly use it. I'm gonna give it a good dose of love right now. And the juice that I'm gonna make is going to have cilantro, garlic, cucumber, lime, tons of spinach, celery, and a bunch of other greens. I'm gonna use a lot of greens in here because those are typically the, the, the pieces that get most stuck in here, right? And so let's go ahead and let's make this juice. I love green juice not only for the infinite benefits, but also I have come to love the taste. The more you juice your greens, the more you crave them. I know this juice is very strong, so if you wanna add apples into this juice to sweeten it, please do. You can also try any of the other healing juicing recipes on my YouTube channel here. This recipe calls for lime, garlic, spinach, cilantro, cucumbers, and celery. I strain my juices as a personal preference because I really love a smooth juice, but you don't have to double strain it if you don't want to. How delicious and refreshing does this juice look? Yum! Yum. Oh, so good. I think this is my favorite green juice right now. It is just so good. I'm obsessed. Hmm.
Mm. 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 Mm-hmm. Okay, I gotta stop myself from drinking it because otherwise we won't finish this video. So one of the things that I love about the Nama J2 juicer is that the juices will hold for three to five days in a sealed tight container because this is a slow cold press juicer and the juices do not oxidize as fast. It literally gives you a longer shelf life of your juices. Now, one other thing I wanna point out to you that I think is really important is the dry pulp. Now, you know you have a good juicer if you have dry pulp. The dryness of your pulp is directly correlated to the quality of your juicer. And this pulp is very dry. I could not squeeze out an extra drop of juice from this green pulp if I wanted to. You can use this pulp to make dry crackers. You can add it into dips. There's so many uses for pulps. Maybe I'll do a future video on that for you, but just look how dry this pulp is. That is a sign that this is a very good juicer. So now that we've made our juice, let's go ahead and clean this juicer. So let's get this timer started so we can see how long it actually takes me to clean the parts to my juicer. The top tips I wanna give you when it comes to cleaning your juicer are the following. First tip, clean your juicer immediately after using it. When you let the food pieces dry, it's so much harder to clean. I always clean right after I juice because I can easily hard rinse with water and it's almost effortless. Second tip, if you can't clean your juicer immediately, then soak your parts in water with soap to help soften the food pieces and keep them from drying. Third tip, turn on some music while you're cleaning and have fun with it. I'm always surprised at how fast it goes by when a good song comes on and I just get into it. Fourth tip, use the cleaning or scrubbing tool that your juicer company provides for you. Nama gives you the best cleaning brush intended to help you clean this juicer and it will save you time. Fifth tip, you can lay your parts out to dry, but I find that if you dry them with a towel, it keeps the plastic from fading and keeps your pieces looking spotless. You'll notice I timed first how long it took me to wash the pieces of solely the juicer, and then I finished timing how long it took for me to wash all of the other things I used to help me make the juice. Overall, I spent around six minutes and 11 seconds cleaning my juicer. That's pretty awesome if you ask me. So we are back. We have made our juice and we have cleaned the juicer. How much fun was that? It wasn't as bad as you thought it was gonna be, right? I'm always surprised when I set my timer and I'm cleaning my juicer and it normally takes me about three and a half minutes, but keep in mind, it took me a little longer today because I was filming, trying to get the angle right and I was moving a little bit slower because I had my camera there. But when it's just me and no camera, it usually takes me about three and a half minutes. And then if I'm washing all the other pieces involved, it usually doesn't take me more than five minutes. Five minutes to clean your juicer. And if you turn on a fun song while you're in the kitchen, that's literally one to two songs. I hope that this video has been helpful and educational for you today when showing you how I clean my juicer, showing you all the parts of the J2, and hopefully I was able to give you some tips to help you save time when you're cleaning your juicer as well. And you got a delicious green juice recipe as well. If you have liked this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button because there is only more juiciness to come. And if you have any special requests for future videos or juicing videos, please let me know in the comments below. If you're looking to get a new juicer, please check out the Nama J2 juicer and you can get $55 off this unbelievable, insane, amazing juicer by using the code FULLYRAW55 and that link is below in the description for you. If you're looking for more raw vegan recipes, you can download my Fully Raw Vegan Recipe app. There are more than 450 raw vegan recipes on my app waiting for you. My app is available on iTunes and Google Play. The initial download is free and then after that you can choose between a monthly or a yearly subscription. So much deliciousness in there, please go check it out. All right, I am gonna go and enjoy the rest of this green juice. Have you noticed that it's like slowly been going away? Because <laughs> uh, I've been drinking it uh, during this video. <laughs> I get to go and finish my green juice now and I hope that you get to go and do the same. Sending you all my hugs and my love, bye.